curb. Mount, oh, really mounted the curb then. Good effort, mate. Right, what's up, guys? So today you join me from the driver's seat of a 2002 Mazda MX-5. Now, this is my buddy Matt's car. I've previously done his Subaru Impreza wagon, which unfortunately is now sold. Um, and I was literally blown away with it. I love that car, I thought it was so cool. But this is his little track toy and his little daily when he wants to use it. Now this is a 2.5 facelift version of this MX-5. Now I've been intrigued by these. Price wise, I think they're really good value for money. With the six speed gearbox, and because it's a facelift, you've got your LSD in the back, and you've got a nice nardy steering wheel in a standard. So it's quite a good package. This one is sort of set up for fast road track use. This was actually the second car that I went out in on my Brands Hatch sort of vlog that I did. Um, stupidly impressed with the car. Really, really blew me away at how good these are. There's a dead rabbit in the road with a crow around it. Poor bugger. So yeah, after being in it on the track, I sort of wanted to know what it was like on the road. The road presence it had and what it could offer as a little b-roader for the money now straight away jumping in it obviously this is a very small car and where i'm used to such big cars i feel really really compact in it as i jumped in it i sort of the, the steering wheel was in the way as i got in i had to push the seat back which is now rubbing on the little roll cage we've got in the back but it's lovely sort of driving wise to be this confined in the car I do like the six-speed gearbox, feels really good, sort of a shorter ratio than I am used to. It's got a good feel to it. I do like the position of the shifter as well. It's sort of able to bang it through the gears really easily. So, as we're down my favourite bit of road, let's see what this car's got to offer around the corner, shall we? Now, obviously, this has got a hard top, which I've never driven one of these with a hard top on. But, second gear around this corner, bring it round, oh, the, oh! Wow, you're really able to feel the front end tuck in with minimal steering angle, and you're really able to put it in any position on the road you fancy. It fucking drives amazing, this car. It's really been set up well. It's had a four wheel alignment, specifically for sort of fast road conditions so you're able to tip it in any corner you fancy and it really reacts so well to any sort of steering angle or input again third gear will take this corner out break in a little bit little bit and you're straight round the corner into the next corner straight round again and there's no body roll and it just does it it just does it straight away and it's bloody nippy as well <laughs> What an awesome little car. It's so chuckable. That's what this is. It is so chuckable around any corner. You're able to just literally point it in the direction you want to go and it will do it. These always surprise me with, you know, the value they are. You can pick one of these up for next to nothing these days and have so much fun in it. And even as a standard car, you know, this has only got um, your standard Bill Stein shocks, but it's had 30 mil lowering springs put on it just to add a little bit of lowness to the car so guys i found a nice little bit next to the side of the road for the mx5 it's very windy today so i had to pick a uh, more secluded place so we're in a nice little forest now which looks pretty good but let's have a look around this little mx5 so you have a couple of changes on these from the other ones that i've done Obviously where this is the 2.5 version, it has the different headlights on it and a different bumper. This one's also got the Jap style lip on the front. Um, tidies up the front really nicely, I quite like that. Looks, it's a good added extra to the car. Coming around the side, it's got rotor grid Vs on it. Um, seven inch wide, 15 inch wheel. Bridgestone RE002 tires. These are very good tires, I would definitely recommend them. They work fantastically with this style of car being lightweight and stuff. Obviously you've got a fantastic looking Speed Hunter sticker going across the front of the windscreen there. Um, I love in the blue as well. I don't see many blue ones these days. So um, it's nice to see a different colored one. Um, usually they're all gold or black. Got a nice FYD sticker down there on the back bumper. That's been there since I started. So 
Matt was actually one of the first people to actually buy something, which I can't thank him enough for. Um, it's people like Matt that actually started um, the channel and the uh, clothing for me. Um, so big props to him. Obviously this one has the hard top roof. Um, first time I was, I've experienced an MX-5 with a hard top roof. And I must say, I'm really impressed with it. The wind noise is a lot better um, with the hard top roof. There's a lot less noise in the car. So let's have a little jump inside and have a look. Obviously being an MX-5 is a little bit more compact than I'm used to, but this one benefits from the Nardi steering wheel, which I love and I've already said about, really, really like this steering wheel. Um, the cloth seats, very comfortable, um, nice bolster support as well. So when you're jamming it through the turns, they work really well. This has also got, and I've spoke to a couple of MX-5 enthusiasts about this, and this is the one to buy. It's a TR Lane, um, roll cage this obviously goes down a bit further than the others onto the actual chassis legs of the car and onto the um, where the seat belts um, towers are um, so I think if you're gonna buy one this is probably the one to buy I must admit although I'm not that tall I'm quite a stiff sort of person Ugh, that's quite hard to get into it's not hard but I'm basically an old man so for me it's a little bit hard it's only because I'm actually basically an 80 year old man. Now obviously with these 2.5s, they've got a bigger brake setup um, than the previous ones I've actually driven. Feel of the brake pedal is really good. You're able to not really stomp on the brakes at all. And you've got more than enough braking power for you to uh, stop yourself when you're having a jolly i think a lot of cars are overlooked by um you know power rather than getting their brakes right you know where this is more of a track sort of focused car it's great to get in and, and feel how good the brakes are because that's what's going to make you sort of a little bit faster is how good the brakes will be so let's take ourselves back down this beautiful bit of road in this lovely little car and see what she's got to offer first little corner you can just sort of tip it in, no steering angle at all, and it just shoots round the corner. Especially from being a passenger on the track in this car, I could really feel that the car wanted to go round the corners, there was no struggle to it. And now driving it, you just get such a good feel through the steering wheel. You're able to sort of drop it into your selected gear, and just you just tip it in, like that, straight round the corner, no messing around. You can feel that the uh, Bill Stein shocks really working as you sort of come around more of the bumpier roads. Got a great feel to it. And then you're able to put it in sixth and just sort of cruise along as you wish. So it still makes a good little daily car because he does daily this, you know. And that's the great thing about these, you're able to drive to your selected track day, drive around it all day, completely hurting the car, hurting the brakes, having as much fun as possible, sliding it around if you want to, and then cruise back home in sixth gear. And you mount the curb. Mount, oh, really mounted the curb then. Good effort, mate. <laughs> I must admit, every time I do a vicious gear change, I seem to put the cup holders up, um, like this. <laughs> so overall, what do I think of this car? Well, I do really, really like these, and especially this one, where it's sort of got a fast road setup on it. You can really tell the alignment has been properly done. All of the little mods that have been done have been done for purpose. Um, to just have more fun um, and more grip, better braking and stuff with the yellow stuff pads. Yeah, I'm always really impressed with getting in an MX-5 and enjoying them and seeing how they track round corners and stuff. Definitely something you need to all drive and you need to buy, I think. I think there's a lot of these that should be bought up. Um, just for being so good, they, they really are so good. So guys, remember, DC5 t-shirt tonight, seven o'clock, will be dropped very excited for it excited to show you a lot as well as always guys make sure you like share and subscribe and i'll see you on the next video cheers guys